Slava Isis Pajistol. Slava Isis Pajistol. We have some great letters of awards and appreciation, plus uh, St. Nicholas Awards. First of all, we have a certificate of appreciation to John and Rose Gill, who have been managing our hall and managing our catering services. And they're retired, so we have a certificate of appreciation for them. And I don't think they're in church today.
come to church. We know we are coming to God's house. And we know that God's house is holy. We know the reverence that we should have in God's house and the respect that we need to show. Um, we try to teach, we teach our children this at home. And when they get into our DCF program, we start with preschool. And we teach this year after year after year. And you enforce this. And I'm just going to ask if each and every one of you would take this opportunity to help us um, because we teach our children that God's house is holy and how we should act and give our respect. <coughs> the kids in turn ask, what well, gee, sometimes it sounds like an auditorium in church. Why how can it be the same? And what do we tell our children? So I think sometimes we might forget that when the world doors are shut, the curtains are closed, this is still God's house. It is still holy. And we still show our respect. And, you know, our kids are seeing this congruency and it doesn't make sense to them. So if everybody would help us, help the parents, we all know we don't want our kids misbehaving in church. That's, we've all grown up like that. But each and every one of us, please accept this responsibility to help our program to set a good example for our children just how we really should act in church. Because we've all been brought up that way, but I think sometimes we forget. So if we could just uh, help us with our children, our program, um, I think as we always strive, this will be a better place. Thank you. Gerald 
Corning, founder and silver company. 